I am here with Lee Mudro, and she is a certified emotion code and body code practitioner. Hey, Lee. Welcome. So excited hey, to have you. you. <laughs> Good. Thank you for inviting me. Yes, of course. I have worked with Lee in the past, probably over a couple of years now, and all around my career, you know, feeling abundant. And I really truly believe that the work you do is very powerful and it has assisted me in releasing so many trapped emotions. So I'm really excited to share all this goodness with you and all the just everything about the work she does so that it can benefit your life as well. So first I wanted to ask the question, what is the body code? Or actually the, we'll go into the emotion code first and then we can go into the body code. Okay. The emotion code is really um, a modality that Dr. Bradley Nelson came up with. He was a chiropractor and he was a chiropractor for 17 years and was working on people very intuitive as well. Um, and every time he worked on somebody, he would connect and just say, you know, connect to God, help me to help this person and work on them. And it's slowly over the years, he started seeing that people had restrictions within their body and their energy. And it was a heart wall. And he said that like 95% of the people have that heart wall. So what we do is release the negative energy in the body because the body itself is full of energy. And that energy is being blocked by this negative energy. Not only does it hold the negative things, but it also hinders you with positive things coming your way. If you locked up your heart, you're not going to open it up for anybody. And every time you go through a drama or trauma, it creates more of that um, armor around the heart so that nothing can get in. So what I do is just release that negative energy in the body. And it usually takes about four sessions to do that. And you release it and you'll, you'll find that you're clearer your heart is more open, you're happier, because our body is made up of complete energy. And that energy gets clogged, just like a clogged pipe. I, that's the easiest way to really explain it to people. It's like having a clogged pipe. When your pipes are clogged, the water doesn't run through. And when they're open, it fl flows easily. And that's basically what happens with the heart wall. So he came up with the emotion code to release that negative energy, which happens to us from trauma. Uh, and it starts in the childhood. So now whatever you had in your childhood can keep repeating itself in your adulthood because that negative energy is inside of you. And so what he, he realized was by releasing those energies and releasing what happened to people, whether it's young or old, whatever age it is that it happened to you, it really just opens up your energy flow in your body and it can help with disease, anxiety, fears, uh, relationships, diseases. It could be just about anything could change for you by releasing that energy. So that's what the emotion code is. And the body code is focused really on six different things. I can work on pathogens, energies, toxins, um, nutrition, misalignments in the body, circuits and systems. So I can actually work on other parts of the body where this negative energy has gone. If you have a knee pain, in the body code, I would work on the knee pain and it would, I let the body code maps guide me on what needs to be released. I don't really choose it for you. I just know intuitively by listening to what comes up to where I need to release that energy. And it's very, it's very cool how somebody with knee pain may come to me with a level of 10 pain and I can get it down to four or five. If you had it for 20 or 30 years, it's gonna take a few sessions to get it down, but I can actually get some relief from, a, from the very first uh, session that we have. That's what's nice with this work, is it really helps people in pain immediately, that it, it, the level of pain can come down. Yeah, and I know I've even called you like a, <laughs> the one time, like a day before I went to the dentist and I had, I think it was, it was swung or, tooth pain and after that session I like it was gone and the second time I worked with you with the body code it was the time um I had all my hair starting to fall out on me um due to being sick and all that stress and you know creating like, the more energy and we also worked on that and I soon after it had stopped it's amazing yeah. I mean I think that we have this negative energy in our body because you know like I've had therapy, I've gone through some things and I, I had therapy for a few things when my brother died, I needed some therapy and you know, I thought I'd gotten over all of it. 
But when you do this work, you therapy helps you realize what the problem is and helps you understand it, but doesn't release that energy that is still stuck in our body from that trauma. So that's what the big thing was for me is recognizing that, you know, I get people that work with me and they say, oh, boy, I've had that problem and I worked on it with therapy and stuff. And I'm like, you know, I have too, so I know what you mean. You figure it's over. Yeah. But when you realize there's energy to that trauma that needs to be released and nobody's released that for you. And that's what the big difference is with this, this thing. It's all about the energy in our body that needs to be released that's negative to the body. Yes. Well, I remember um, uh, having a session with you and, you know, my, well, when I had Gray, just the traumatic experience, I didn't even think I was holding trauma from C-section and everything that happened. And then when we realized that we are going all the way back, you know, four years ago, um, releasing that trauma that was held in my body that I didn't even know was there. But then when we brought it up, I could like feel like, you know, the fear and all of that that came with that time period of being in the hospital well that's that's what's amazing too like I had one client that um, when I was working at him clearing his heart wall he kept having a four-year-old come up and I do when I work on you I will ask if there's anything we need to know and usually the first thing we need to know is the age and after the age I will ask you know do you remember what happened and you'll give me this scenario now if you think it's no, that didn't, I can't think of anything with that. I uh, Then I'll go to the next layer, which is, did you absorb it? You can actually absorb these energies from other people and you can inherit these energies from your mom and dad. That's the other thing that I'm able to release is inherited uh, negative emotions um, for family. And you know, it's gone back at least to mom and grandma, let's say. I can release all the way back when it started. It could have started 30 or 40 or 50 generations ago. And that's what's really cool because you can not only do help you, we help all the ancestors and I actually feel the ancestors show up for you when I'm releasing this. And I always tell people that because some people who are very empathic will feel that and they're scared and it's mm -hmm. nothing to be afraid of. We're here to help you because they want that energy released as well. And that's something that Dr. Brad talks about in his new book that he just uh, redid is that this inherited thing is much bigger than he ever imagined it was because we carry those from mom and dad just being together and giving it to us and we might not have gone through anything coming in with it but it will perpetrate that showing up in your life somewhere if you were depressed if mom and dad had that depression in them sometime during their life they were depressed then you'll get depressed could skip you and go to your daughter it depends on how it's sent down and i always check was it from mom or dad and then i'll find out who gave it to mom or dad and then we'll be able to say is it all the women in the family is it all the men does it go father, mother, father, mother? So I can actually tell you the ancestral why lineage and how it went. And I can release that for you. And not only for you, your sisters, your brothers, your aunts, your uncles, all come back and forward. So if you have grandchildren or great-grandchildren, I release it for everybody. And that is really cool. I don't mm -hmm. have to work with them. I'm working with you to help everybody else. And you will notice a difference in that. Yes. It's really funny. Yeah. You will notice a difference. Yes, I know we have, you know, especially with how many emotion code sessions that I've had and even clearing the heart wall, you know, I always thought it was so cool because it's impacting right and it's like going for it, all these emotions from, you know, my ancestral line. Um, I can't remember all, I mean, we've cleared a lot of emotions out of that. Um, some of the heavy ones were like dread or, you know, the sadness or, you know, even feelings of lack and can, that can affect like the abundance and how I make money and everything in my life. Yep. It's amazing what it does. It's just releasing that energy. If you just can think of it like the clogged pipe, you'll realize how much that can affect you. Because mm -hmm. now it's not clogged and your energy is just flowing the right way and it's, it's nourishing the body differently than what it would when it's clogged. So I always use that as a, a metaphor for people to look at and see that, wow, when you think of it that way, you can almost picture that, yeah, when my pipes are clogged, I can't get anything to go through. So that's what's happening to us. And it's ancestral. Yeah. It's nothing that we actually did or had experience of. Although if you have like depression in there, sooner or later, it does show up for you. Okay. Yes. So, you, know, you have it in your ancestry, you'll find it somewhere, whether it's you or your children or somewhere, it'll show up. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I experienced that with Bruce, yeah. Um, how did you find the emotion code, or how, how has it impacted your life? That's 
That's a good question. Um, it was funny because I had heard about it from a friend. Uh, Dr. Bradley was coming into Phoenix. That's when I lived in Phoenix. And it's funny because I lost my job on a Friday and I went to the seminar the following Saturday and I knew that this is what I was going, I was meant to do. I had always felt like I was here to help people in some way, but I worked in IT. I was an IT database manager. So it's like, I wasn't really helping anybody that I could see, you know, a difference with. But when I went to there and I saw him and I mean, he actually worked on me. Um, he asked somebody who had a level 10 pain and that morning I woke up with such a bad neck pain. I almost didn't go. Uh, but I went cause I thought, well, if this works, maybe I, he could work on me and he chose me. And he worked at me and I'm, I'm telling you, I could not move my neck at all. My friend was with me, so, you know, she could testify to that. But he, <laughs> moved, he removed about six emotions and the pain was gone, completely wow. gone. Nothing, I mean, I couldn't move my head now and I couldn't yeah. even turn my head, you know. And I, and, you know, and if I was in the audience, I wonder if I would have questioned whether was that a setup? Did he bring somebody with him? But having been the actual live client that he worked on, I knew that it worked. Yes. And like I've been working on myself. I mean, I work on myself all the time. I do it once a week so that I'm clear for all my clients. I was able to release heartburn, migraines for myself, as well as plantar fasciitis. And if you don't know what that is, it's a pain yeah. in your heel where you can't step on it. And I didn't know what it was. It just happened overnight. And I went to a doctor and a chiropractor to see if there's anything they could do. And of course, it was going to cost thousands of dollars of therapy. And I was like, you know, I've learned this emotion code. I'm going to see if it'll remove it. Within a half an hour of working on the emotions, because it came up overnight. Now, that's why this happened so quickly. Sometimes if you've had it for 10 years, it may take me a few sessions to work on it. Yeah. But it happened I had it for a couple of weeks, and they were telling me all this therapy. So I, I did the emotion code on it. Within 30 minutes, it was gone. And I've never had it come back. Wow. Heard about this when you release something it doesn't come back unless you have a new trauma that creates it it won't come back on you yeah yeah and that that's really cool because i i know just from my experience it hasn't um and i even want to touch on kind of more of my experience too and then maybe you have some other examples of you know success stories with clients or power more powerful stories with this work but I know for me, I think, you know, was it three years ago we started working and it was really clearing my heart wall and a lot of trauma that happened during, you know, during my childhood and we went back. And it was um, also even current time, you know, I, I've worked with you days before getting multiple job offers and, you know, being able to be clear cleared on that and not have all my past emotions clogging up my future possibilities. And I think that is the coolest part. Like I think I've had multiple job interviews and things before, and it's just such a difference when you, I have like you to be able to reach out to, to be able to make sure I am extremely clear and open to my highest self and my highest potential. And I think that is the best thing. I would also say, an amazing part is that you are always like a cheerleader <laughs> like you have you want all of your clients and I can tell from my personal experience to succeed you know that the little kid in them deserves to get what they want to truly live a life that they want and what their heart desires and I think that is such a beautiful part of you doing this specific Thing because your personality also amplifies your work and that support that everyone needs that everyone needs to be told that they deserve the best they you know they need to be fed like all of that good stuff so that they can live their highest potential so I think yeah I was gonna say you know that's interesting you mentioned that because I didn't even bring that up yet but the difference with me with than some other practitioners is the fact that I connect very much to the little child inside of you, that inner child. And I can actually hear, like Dr. Bradley says, you need three swipes of the magnet to release an energy if it's a regular one and 10 if it's inherited. But I found by listening to what that little child inside of you really wants more than those three to have it go away. And I can hear that. And I've worked with you enough, and you're very intuitive, too. So when I hear eight, you're like, oh, yeah, I heard that, too. 
it's always confirmed because I can hear it and then you can confirm it too. Not everybody has that ability, but if you do, then it's very um, telling for me that I've connected to your little child. And it's ever since I was a child, I always felt like I was here to work with children. So I was always looking for the little kids to take care of and see if I was going to be a teacher, something like that. But I ended up getting in the IT and there's no children in that, except every single person in the room has a little child and they have their, their good, their bad energies within them, their negative energies about their childhood, things that have pinged them that they bring to the table. And it's funny because when I worked in IT, even I could I could pick those kind of things up. I didn't really understand it as well as I do now that I've done the emotion code and body code. But I did know there were many personalities. And doing this work, I very much connected that little child. So usually when I do the heart wall, I try to work on the little child first for the bigger issues when you're young so that we can clear all those up a little bit. And then we get into more of what's happening to you in your later life. Um, and it's amazing what can happen. I mean, some people can't remember things that happened to them at three, four, or five years old. But the first two sessions, I'll get all four years old that something happened. This is really, it had to be pretty serious because it keeps coming up over and over and over again. I can't remember, don't know what it is. And I'm like, well, don't worry about it. We'll see where it comes. By the third or fourth heart wall session, they're like, oh, I know what it was. And it's as clear as a bell to them. They can, I mean, I had one man that was a four-year-old incident he had almost drowned his mom was outside playing with plants and he went to the pier and he fell in he didn't know how to swim Aww. and he said oh, and he couldn't remember this that's what was so funny it's like the first two sessions he couldn't remember a thing about it but when it became clear to him he's like I remember now I fell in a lake right by the pier and I was going down and there was bricks in the pier underneath it and I was counting the bricks knowing that when I got to the bottom I would drown because I don't know how to swim right and his mom luckily was out there and pulled him out before he ran out of yeah. air. Aww. But remembered it vividly, remembered how he felt, and everything that we had released for the first two sessions were all about the panic and being alone and terror and horror. And I'm like, I don't know what happened to you, but something big happened to you. Well, it's, that is horrific to almost drown. Yes. Yeah. I remember actually um, when I was little, I. I got, I got held underwater by another little kid, and I remember, like, it was, like, shallow, and I still feel, like, you know, I, I can still, like, that one I, memory came with me, because I remember being held under, like, as a joke, but I was, like, almost to the point where I couldn't breathe anymore, and I think the brain has a magical way of you know, even though you're feeling it, it does hide something from us until we are ready to deal with it. And since you were healing it, he was ready to be able to know. And it was, you know, able to be brought to the forefront of his memory. And that's what's funny, because, I mean, we released a lot of things for the four-year-old in the first two sessions, which tells you, I can release it whether you remember it or not. Yes. So it's yeah. not like you have to stress out and no. say, oh, gosh, I don't remember it. You can't clear it. I can clear it whether you remember it or not. And having released those first two sessions, all those four-year-old things that came up for him is what opened him up to receive it. Because yeah. you just, that's another thing that I can work on you, but if you're not ready to receive the healing that your body needs, and it's not like I heal anything, it's just getting rid of that negative emotion and that negative energy inside of you uh, gets released. If you're not ready to release that, then you may not get as big of a um, change in you that somebody else might that's really ready to let it go. This is the new Emotion Code book. Oh. And it's I all like about rainbow colors. I, I was going to say, like, it's, I like first the colors. This that Dr. Bradley came out with, which was not as successful as this one is becoming. This one yeah. had forward by Tony Robinson. Wow. Oh. He wow. actually has backed him on this because Tony Robbins did sessions with him and it really helped him. Yeah. He has a forward in here for him. That's cool. When Dr. Bradley did his first book, it was very dark looking. Um, it was a dark, dark color. So the book really didn't resonate yeah. when I first saw it, but this, the new one was like, oh wow, this is exactly what we need. It feels light. Yeah. Yes. And this is how, let me explain what we do. Basically, when you come to me, I will connect to you. 
And the way I connect to you as soon as we start talking a little bit, get your name and your age. Uh, yeah, I have to know your age so that I can ask you when things happened and then see if we can figure out what happened to you. And you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. If it's something that you don't want to repeat, you don't have to tell me. Just let me know, yes, I remember, or no, I don't. And then I just release it. But um, the way I do it is connecting to you is I will have you say, my name is Stacy. And then I'll have you say, my name is Bob. I should get a no for Bob and a yes for Stacy. But if you're not hydrated enough, you're not ready to do the emotion work, I will get yes for both of you or no for both of you. So that's wow, my, I didn't know that. like, especially I work with in, in Arizona where it's very hot. I would yeah. have that happen more there than I do with most people because it's hot. People get dehydrated. You've got to have enough liquid in you when you do this work because it helps to release these emotions that are in your body. And um, once I connect to you, then I connect myself to the higher source so that I can hear what I need to hear for the emotions that I need to release. I use kinesiology. I use this this way to tell yes or no uh, of what things are for the emotions. And then I have a card here that I use, which is a magnet that Dr. Bradley gives once you get certified with all the 60 negative emotions on it. And you can see this in the book. The book he describes it so most people can really handle a lot of the emotions themselves the biggest one I find that you really need help with is your heart wall and something that is really a trauma for you that you have not been able to deal with those are ones you, you usually have to have somebody else help you get release that energy for you because you are attached to it you've been, had it all your life or you've mm -hmm. been in your life so once I am have connected to you and then I will start asking what are the trapped emotions that we need to release and I'll use this card. If I go, it has rows and columns. So if I get a particular row and I don't find anything, I know then it's an inherited one and we release the inherited ones. And otherwise I just release the emotion that comes up. And how I release it is I'm a proxy for you because I'm working on you. I got connected to you in the beginning because I do these over Zoom or on the phone. Most of the people that want Zoom are usually the ones that are like in Africa, Italy. I mean, I do international as well as the United States. So those usually want Zoom, but doing it over the phone is exactly the same as if I did a Zoom on you. Yes, I pretty much, I think I've, I've done mostly all over the phone. I yeah. think all of our sessions have been, yep. Yeah, I think once we did one in person because we were together, but other than that, <laughs> yeah. <on> the phone. <laughs> So this is what I do is I just take it down the meridians. And as I do it to the back of my neck, I go as far as I can and then I visually see it going all the way through my spine and out so that I'm releasing that negative emotion inside of you. And then I just check after I've released it, did, did we release it and I get a yes. And then at the end, I do something different than any of the practitioners because this is something that I try to support my clients with because I've done a lot of energy work before I did this. I used to do Akashic Record readings. I don't do those anymore, but I used to do that. So I uh, know how to bring in the energy. But I found that people that are releasing these emotions can really have a tough couple of days. It's two to three days to process it. So I had asked my, just intuitively, just asked, what can I do to help people with this? And to connect with that little child, I just bring in rainbows and sparkles. I have you bring those in. And if you do the rainbows and sparkles, and I'd walk you through that in a session, how to do it. If you bring in the rainbows and sparkles, you're really, rainbows are about the healing energy, just like the chakras mm -hmm. in different colors. And your sparkles are giving you back what was dulled by the trauma or drama that you had gone through that caused you to have the negative energy. Yeah. And things to really support my clients. Anybody who calls me and says, oh, I'm really having a tough time. I'm I'm really upset, I'm crying. I'll say, well, did you do the rainbows and sparkles? And they're like, well, yeah, when you were on the phone. And I'm like, yeah, you're supposed to do it afterwards. And usually that's all it is. They just have to do it. I walk them through it again on the phone and they're good. Like they don't have to suffer through it. I usually ask when I do, when I do my connection, I always ask that the only side effect you'd have is to be tired and maybe you have to take a nap. And that's usually the only thing most people have. Some who have been through some heavy, heavy drama, Sometimes I have to do a couple of, you know, rainbows and sparkles with them to have them get it and help them. But, um, you know, Dr. Bradley talks about it in the book. I mean, his daughter released hopelessness from him ancestrally mm -hmm. and driving his car and he just started crying. 
uncontrollable crying and he's like what the heck is going on and then his daughter called him and said oh i found that you had this inherited hopelessness well when it was released for him was right when this, his first book came out and it started to sell uh, it was she had never done anything that much with art but yeah. she became a renowned artist now she's he showed beautiful pictures of what she's done it's just amazing wow. how this being ancestral in her really hindered her from it coming out that's how you can see how these bigger things can really hold you back from being what you could accomplish yeah yeah we're having problems in a relationship this works for relationships as well i worked on husbands and wives and the wife usually the wife comes first and she'll work with me and then they'll notice the difference in them and then they'll do the session and between the two of them it really helps the relationship grow yes and i've definitely when you worked on Chen, i felt the difference in him like in his own energy yeah yeah it does make a big difference in people and it's just because you're just releasing that negativeness that's inside of you that's why when sometimes when you walk into a room and you just meet somebody you may not like them just from the get-go of just meeting them it's because their energy is something in you always know that when that happens it's really about you more than them that energy that you're feeling in them is inside of you and needs to be released. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's like a good reflection of yourself. <laughs> it's a mirror for us all yeah. to recognize. Like if you have a problem with somebody, it's like looking in a mirror. Where inside of you is that issue that you have with them? Yeah. Huh. It's helped me to learn a lot about people and this energy work, it's, it's not like we heal anything. The body heals itself. We just release the negative energy that's sitting in your body. Yes. That's all it is. I'm not, I'm not healing you in any way. It's just release that negative energy. The energy in your body starts to flow better. And that's what helps us to have things, you know, pain go away. Yeah. Because able to flow. Yes. Well, anytime I've realized any, I've had anything with my body, it's always tied to something emotional and I know right away I think I probably become the annoying wife because anytime anything hurts I'm trying I'm like okay what are you thinking what have you been thinking <laughs> yeah, what's been going on with you what what happened to you today it's not and then sometimes I'm like okay I gotta be compassionate about pain and like all this stuff because I'm always like digging into someone's brain like why is this going on what you know what's the trauma what's the you know yeah. Well, you've done you enough thinking? work with me and, and other modalities that you realize it. And anybody who does, I mean, all the modalities work. Reiki, um, acupuncture, they all work in different ways. And it's really working with the energy. Yes. Yeah. It, and it's great. To, I mean, I have used so many resources and I, and I now know when, I, when to pull from what and like from like who's doing what when I need it and when I'm like feeling a certain way. And it's really cool that I've gotten to that point where now I know when to call you or now I know when to call, you know, my mom who does the clearing work, like, yeah. or when I need to actually put vitamins in my body. So it's like that. Yeah. Yeah. amazing. Yeah, the more aware we are about this energy that we have in our body and that our bodies are pure energy and we're affected by outside things that could bring up anything, did you yeah. start, thinking, well, when do I need Reiki versus massage versus acupuncture versus heart wall clearings or body code clearings or releasing of the energy, EFT. I mean, there's so many modalities out there and I think every single one of them work. I mean, I do a lot of the different modalities for myself. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, there's just certain ones, like you said, certain ones we know which modality after a while you'll know. You won't know right away, but after a while you'll know. And I, I Dr. Bradley said, I think there's like 95% of the people have a heart wall. And by releasing that heart wall, it makes a huge difference. So if anybody has any questions about it and really want to understand it, get this book by Dr. Bradley Nelson, The Emotion Code. And he explains the whole how to do it because he wanted people to be able to help themselves as much yeah. as possible the practitioners are here to help you with those deeper bigger ones that you can't quite get to on your own i go to a body code person we exchange with each other for the things that i get stuck on yes so there's some that i know like okay well this i've had this forever and i'm still not able to get rid of it so i need some help with this one yeah it, it does it makes a difference yes yeah
Well, I'm so excited to show everyone how this works so that then, you know, if they reach out to you, I'm hoping, you know, lots of them do because I think everyone needs a resource to be able to just like have a fresh plate on their, you know, like a clear plate on their body um, to be as successful and, you know, the highest person to live out their truest dreams and from their heart. So I'm really excited for them to see this and to already know the experience because some people, you know, if, if it's not something you're familiar with, sometimes it's hard to just go into it. So maybe this will help people feel more comfortable in the sessions and knowing what to expect. Yep. So let's get connect connected, Stacey. Yes. Okay. Stacey and I will do a session with her with some, something. So um, tell me what you're, what you want to work on, anything in particular that you can think of today. Well, I feel like let's do abundance because I, you know, I want that just like as an example, I think that's a, always a cool one because, you know, a lot of us who are light workers, we do have those blocks in us that, are, you know, or all those like things we've ever been told or like even from a young age, you can't make money doing what you love or doing something from your heart. It's got to be something like we were discussing before, very technical or something you've gone to school with and like have all these years of experience or, you know, it has to be something that fits in the mold of society. And when it goes out of that mold, knowing that you are worth it and the energy that you're worth it or like putting out there is so powerful. You are impacting the planet and all these people's lives and even their souls. So you don't just opening up that abundance for living that kind of lifestyle and having that type of career. <laughs> That's not the norm. And you can finally do something you're really passionate about. Yes. Difference. It's that passion that you have for this, especially if you like helping people. And I've had such great success with this. That, I mean, I, I'm amazed myself. I mean, I help, help people who are an alcoholic to stop drinking. You have to still want to stop drinking. Mm -hmm. uh, this particular person was going to die if he didn't, and he came to me as a last resort, and then he said it actually helped him to quit. Now, whether he still is off of it, I don't know, but that was like three years ago, but I helped somebody who had herpes that had a really horrible breakout that I was, she says, can you, can you release this? I said, well, I don't know. I never say that I can if I haven't done one before, but now that I have, anytime I've done one, I know that I can release the energy for it. And within 24 hours, she said the breakout was gone. And she hasn't had one. I just talked to her. She hasn't had one in six months since then. Awesome. That's I know correct. that it can make a difference in, in just about anything. Yes. To show you what I'll do is Stacy will say, I'll have Stacy say, I am Stacy. My name is Stacy. My name is Stacy. And then I'll have her say, my name is Bob. My name is Bob. And then I'm sitting here going like this. This is Stacy, and this was Bob. So this means that she is not Bob. This means she is Stacy. And then I'll just get, I just say a little prayer and get connected. So just give me a couple of seconds. Okay. And then I just start. So with the emotion code, I will ask Are there any trapped emotions that we can release for Stacy? that are causing her not to be as abundant as she would like. We want her to be totally open to abundance. Okay, and it says yes. So then I go, is it in column A? Is it in column B? Is the trapped emotion in the even row? Is the trapped emotion in row two? Is the trapped emotion in row four? Okay, so in row four, is it depression? Is it frustration? Is it indecisiveness? Is it panic? panic. And now I'll ask, is there anything that we need to know about the panic? And we'll get a yes. And I'll say, Stacy, how old are you now? 30, 32. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything we need to know about the panic? And I'll say, did panic occur for Stacy between the ages of 20 and 32? Was it between the ages of 10 and 20? Okay, is it between the ages of 15 and 20? 15, 16, 17, 18 years old. Anything with panic at 18. Seven, and we do a three year period because it could be 17 and a half or 18 and a half. So I tell her 17, 18, or 19. Any panic. 
I mean, that's when I would have been a, like a senior and going into college, I didn't have a clear direction on what I wanted to do. And I went in line because I was super creative. I almost went to just go to art school, but I ended up just going to a technical college to get my basics because I didn't know, I, I didn't have a clear direction on a career. I didn't feel, I felt like I should know what to do, but I didn't. And then I ended up choosing a path that was more down a family line of, it's more a family line of, um, a, I guess, a traditional career that others in my family have taken. Okay. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm talking to her little child now just to find out how many swipes that she would like. And Stacy's little child usually wants at least double what the normal would be. And she's asking for that now. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to give her six swipes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did we release the trapped emotion of panic? And I get a yes. Do you, how many do you want me to do, Stacy? You want me to do one more? Sure. Yeah. Are there any other trapped emotions that we can release for Stacy that is holding her back in her abundance? Is a trapped emotion in column A? Is a trapped emotion in the even row? Is a trapped emotion in the odd row? Is a trapped emotion in row one? Is a trapped emotion in row three? Is a trapped emotion in row five? So it's five. Blaming. Is a trapped emotion blaming? Is a trapped emotion dread? Is a trapped emotion fear? Okay, it's fear. Is there anything that we need to know about the fear? Yeah, so what age did fear occur for Stacy? Was it between the ages of 20 and 32? And was it between the ages of 25 to 32? Was it between the ages of 20 and 25 then? Okay, 20, one, two. 24 years old. What kind of fears came up for you at 24? Hmm. 24, 24, I was in, I pretty sure I was in San Francisco. So I think it was definitely career related, like not being able to find a job that I truly loved and make plenty of money doing it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> let's release that fear for yeah. you. And I'm gonna give you six again. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did we release a trapped emotion of fear? We did. Okay. So now that we finished, yeah. They, you know, I would keep doing it until her subconscious mind said to stop, which her mm -hmm. subconscious mind is not saying right now. So <laughs> but it, it would take a while. <laughs> we're, we're not going to release anymore, but just releasing these two will help her too. Yeah. So now that we've released it, then I would walk her through a visual to help her to assimilate this easier by saying, let's just walk into a waterfall of rainbow colors and the rainbow colors have to be your colors it doesn't have to be the rainbow you see outside my favorite colors for my rainbows are purple pink and blue so you walk into the waterfall where these colors are and wash them down and wash away those negative energies and you just see those negative energies going down the river away from you so that your little child can actually see that it's been released now this part is not part of the emotion code dr bradley doesn't talk about this at all this is totally mine so just so everybody knows, you're not going to find that anywhere, but in my session only. I don't know anybody else who does this. I'm the one who came up with it through my guides. So once you wash that away, then I have you bring in the sparkle and give you back your sparkle. And that sparkle is all about empowering yourself, giving you back the power that you lost when you went through whatever drama or trauma it was that you had. So then Stacy will just, like a, a sparkle could be stars, glitter, uh, jewelry such as emeralds or diamonds, whatever you find. I had uh, a little girl call, tell me sprinkles was her sparkle. And I said, you know, whatever is your sparkle is your sparkle. So know that it's really about that little child in you and having the options of choosing what they really want everything to be. Yeah. And by doing this, that rainbows and the sparkles, it actually helps them to assimilate it easier. Yes, and I'm a very visual person, so having it closed off, like from, you know, going back into some of these traumas and then being able to come out of it and visualize something that's clearing and loving and light helps me assimilate it and move forward in a positive manner. And the thing I always tell clients, too, is we, you don't have to remember the things that were released because yep. we don't, I don't want you to analyze it. And I mean, I have some clients that are, I mean, I'm an analytical person. <laughs> 
I, that's what I wanted to do is analyze it, but you've got to let it go and just know that it's been released because those yeah. processing, if you start analyzing it and working on, well, what did I do? Why did this happen? Blah, blah, blah. You could actually undo what I just did for you by releasing it. So no, you don't need to remember those. If you want to remember like the inherited ones, just so that you know that those are cleared from your family, those are the ones that I usually tell people. Those are the ones you can remember if you want to, but just try to let go of whatever you released in the session and know that it's taken care of. It's gone. Yeah. And it's back. yeah. yeah. That you won't have other times when I'm working on you and your parts of your body, like she had fear for one. We'll find fear all over your body, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Every one of us have fear that happened to us during our lifetime that you'll find it maybe in your toe or in your leg or in your head or in your skull, you know, so don't think that, oh, I got rid of fear. So my fear is gone forever. Everything. No, it's just gone for the part that we worked on for abundance, for the fear that came up for her. Now you can actually have it come up multiple times for the same type of thing. So as you work on the abundance, it's like a layer of an onion. Yeah. So you have multiple layers that still have to be worked on. So know that as well. Yes. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you clearing those two for me. I know we, you know, we've, we've approached other different emotions on the topic of even like getting, you know, before job interviews and things like that. Um, I do want to ask so that everyone is clear, like you work on adults. Do you ever work on children or is there an age limit that you kind of, you know, you have to be at least nine year old for a child, and I've worked on all ages for children nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I, I even, well, even with Lil Gray, I was able to, and he's four, yeah. but yes, yeah. Stacy was there, and we were working on him with her there. But usually, no one younger than nine will I work on. Um, and I can work on animals as well. You know, you can do any kind of animal and do the same type of thing. If I have some idea of what they been through or as I look at their ages and you find out oh, something happened to them at three then you could say oh yeah you know something bad happened to them at three and I can release that whatever the emotions are that come up for it yeah so, th yeah that's really cool because if someone like adopts uh you know a, let's say a dog and they have no them. idea what happened to that dog beforehand you I can yeah 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 and it Which really shifts, shifts your animals yeah, I bet, because they also go through trauma, and, you oh, know, they, they also have pain, and I know you have dogs yourself, so. Yep. Well, Dr. Bradley worked on a horse that, I think, I don't remember the story now, but there was a horse that he worked on that wasn't eating and was, you know, very sick, and he released the emotions for that horse. I think it was he saw, the horse saw a bird fall and die in front of him, mm -hmm. and he released that from them and all the emotions wrapped around it and the horse was fine afterwards wow it can happen with any kind of animal birds horses you know i've i've only done it with dogs and cats because i had to do it for my certification i haven't had anybody come to me with a horse or anything with <laughs> but hey i'm open to well anything. you never know now <laughs> yeah, i'm open to anything i mean to me i don't know if i can do much help unless i try it yes and i'm willing to try with anybody yes yeah and I know we also, we had talked beforehand about touching on the subject of especially clearing, like what, you know, what the world is going through right now is bringing a lot of anxiety and fear up in people. And so if, if there are those out there feeling this, um, I'm assuming this work would be exactly kind of what they need to be able to release that fear. Yes. I've been working with a lot of people lately that have that, that anxiety and the fear and just to tell you an uh, overview, is look at our history. No matter how bad things got, we always got through it. Mm -hmm. And if you try to remember that, that'll be helpful. But if you get your heart wall cleared, and you also, if you need more from your body code, that fear and anxiety can be released. Now, you're going to go away completely when we're in the middle of this? Probably not, but it won't be as extreme. But it, and some people I have been able to help get rid of it completely because they, they trust because yeah. they're more open. You're more clear when you have your heart wall uh, released. Yes. Yeah. And I think a lot of this, this time period for, I know, even me has been shifting my perspective on, I think anything that was built on faulty ground prior to this 
is sh being shaken up and it's crumbling. So a lot of people's reality, even their careers or their relationships, you know, because they're home with their family all the time, I think that part of their lives is being shaken up a bit. Or maybe they're rethinking. Hey, wake up. <laughs> yes. So if, I guess, I'm going to say to all you listeners, if you are going and experiencing that, and especially if you're rethinking your career or purpose in life, because maybe you're being woken up to a new side of you that is going to help the world in a new and better way of what we're stepping into, you know, during this time and after this time. Um, so I think, you know, the work you do uh, with the emotion code it, and even the body code is going to can really help them step into their true essence and their true power through all of this. Yeah, it really helps. Um, some of the anger management is something. I worked with one man who was very, very angry and it went very deep with him. And I cleared his heart wall and he, the, and most of my clients that I talk about here are on my website. I put the highlighted big ones that really made a big difference for them as testimonials. I asked them for testimonials on my website. If you have any questions, about whether this works or not. If you read those testimonials, you'll know that it'll work for just about anything. People mm -hmm. who have anger issues and have had this in them, a lot of that can be ancestral. And it, you know, it may not be anything that you can remember that caused it, or you had a really tough childhood, and we can release that energy. And once the energy is released, the anger can be released. I mean, this one man was having, I mean, anger management classes several times he had to go to because he always get, was getting into fights. And after he had the heart wall released, he was able to not have that anger in him anymore. He actually was a masseuse. And I think it was like his left hand didn't work the way it was supposed to for a massage. And after we released the anger, it actually changed how he did his massage. Wow. And a testimonial about that so you could read that on the website and yeah. relationships I mean people on there that have had relationships issues and um, they clear I clear for them what they need cleared for relationship and it actually affects the person that they were having the problems with because most people think the problems are with the other people I don't like her because of blah 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 but it's really you don't like her because there's something in her that has got an energy inside of you and if you can release that energy, even if they, they still have that same thing inside of them, but it won't mm -hmm. affect the way it does when you have that negative energy in you. So yeah. keep that in mind. If you find that you're having a tough time being with certain people, then think about what can we release inside of you that will at least not let them ping you for that issue. Yes. Because they still have it because we didn't clear yeah. them we clear you and I've seen that many many times with my clients where they're like yeah you know that same person dry, drove me nuts it doesn't bother me anymore when they do that it's just like I don't care and I said yeah because you don't have it in you anymore yeah yeah and that's probably really big too right now because everyone's inside with all of their family members and maybe they're not used to being around that person so much so yeah 24 7 now <laughs> you know, I mean, it is it's going to make and break the relationships that need to be made and broken so yeah. it's comes down to where you're you end up getting a divorce no it's just the universe's way of helping you get there when you weren't able to do it yourself yeah yeah that's what I really think all this stuff is about right now it's really just waking us up to a multitude of things yeah. uh, how do you cope with being alone if you're like I live by myself yeah. I have two dogs some people can't cope with that and others mm -hmm. can't can't and you're finding you have anxiety and fears then you call me and I can help you with that and I, I guarantee we'll find something in your past that is causing that for you whether it's inherited or something that happened to you I mean maybe you got left at a mall your mom yeah. left at a mall forgot she brought you with you I mean it could be anything yeah feelings of abandonment if you know you had a parent leave you and now you're yeah yep. um, so it's very interesting what comes up and then all of a sudden they're like, oh, you know, it doesn't bother me anymore. I know I can deal with it. It's lesser than what it was before. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so if someone wanted to make an appointment with you or I guess, you know, learn more about you, is your website going to be the best spot for, to send them? That would be the best spot. It has my phone number on it. It's www.leemudro.com. So I have my phone number on there. You can call me if you want to just book a session. You can. 
Um, but call me and we'll set up the day and time because I, I do mine uh, by calls so that I can talk to you a little bit, find out what we're working on, and then I set up your by my schedule of what I have. But I'm pretty open with hours. I work Monday through Friday from 9 o'clock in the morning central time till 7 o'clock at night. Uh, Saturdays I work mornings only from like 8 to noon. And Sundays I am off. I take one day off for myself. Good. I go Good. Because <laughs> we cannot work seven days a week. <laughs> no. And I don't really work Saturday that often, so I really prefer to do my work Monday through Friday. And Saturdays are more like I'm working all week. I can't get in to see you any other time but Saturday. So I will take people on Saturdays. Okay, awesome. Well, that's so good to know. And um, if there isn't anything else you want to add, I'm hoping that, you know, whoever's listening goes out and reaches out to Lee because she's amazing. Um, I mean, going forward, she will always be in my toolkit for being able to help in my life. So I'm hoping that, you know, this is why I wanted to share Lee with you guys because I'm hoping that you'll add her too. And I mean, you'll just be blessed to have her in your life and as a cheerleader and on your team. Thank you. I appreciate that, Stacy. Yeah. It was fun working with you. <laughs> I had the same here. <laughs> <laughs> well, go to her website and get all that knowledge and hope you book a session with her. <laughs> and we want to wish every, every mother on the call happy Mother's Day. Yes. Yes. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.